Hola amigos, welcome back to my channel. Usually, as you know, in this channel we react to things that you uh, recommend in the comments down below. But today we're actually re reacting to something that I got, I got really curious about. Uh, yesterday I was watching Home Alone. Uh, it's a kind of a Christmas tradition for me to watch. And as I was watching, I wondered something I haven't wondered about before when I was a kid. I was wondering, would the bu burglars actually survive everything that uh, Kevin puts them through. The Bulkers, you know, uh, Marv and Harry. I got a picture right here uh, for you to know what I'm talking about. These two burglars, they were, uh, they went through absolute hell trying to rob the McAllister's uh, home. And yeah, I was wondering, would they have actually survived? And I found this video that I haven't watched uh, that is called Honest Action Home Alone. And the description says, have you ever wondered how many lives your favorite action hero would really need to survive a movie? We asked an actual doctor to answer that question for us in Screen Junkies' new series Honest, Honest Action. Next up, the wet bandits in Home Alone. So <laughs> I'm really curious to watch this one because I, as I was watching the movie, I thought, man, these burglars would have not survived this at all. So let's just find out if that's true or not. Let's go. He's Asked Dr. Adam Friedlander to analyze action movies and tell us what would really happen to your favorite characters. Today's patients, the Wet Bandits. Club buys up. <laughs> Testicular hematoma. Frontal cephalohematoma. <laughs> Vertebral fractures and posterior rib fractures. <laughs> Hip and pelvic fractures, <laughs> scalp hematoma and concussion, Oy. cervical spine fracture. Harry is dead. <laughs> Facial and cervical spine fractures with second degree burns. Marv is dead. <laughs> second and third degree burns. Oy. Contaminated puncture wound. <laughs> Spine and rib fractures. <laughs> Third degree scalp burns. <laughs> this Kevin kid was an absolute sadist. I mean, he was eight years old when he put this to through this misery. <laughs> Plantar lacerations and glass foreign bodies. Spine and rib fractures. Facial fractures. Spine and rib fractures. Facial fractures. Sternal fracture with cardiac contusion. Shoulder dislocation with humerus fracture. Skull fracture with epidural hematoma. Marv is dead. <laughs> Facial fracture with epidural hematoma. Harry is dead. Okay. <laughs> they did it for both movies. I, I, I didn't even count how many times both of them died. To me, the worst was the whole uh, can of paint straight at their faces. I mean, I don't even know. I don't even know what the worst one is. Also, the fires right into his scalp. The shovel. <laughs> Oh my god. Anyway, let's continue. Spine and rib fractures. Nasal bone fracture. Nasal bone fracture. I guess some of them are overdoing it because this punch, it's not for sure that it will give you a nasal bone fracture. I mean, I've been punched in the face before and nothing really happened. So, eh, I'm not sure how much uh, how much of this is true. Bone no. fracture. Nasal bone fracture. <laughs> Pelvic and spine fractures with internal bleeding. Skull fracture with epidural hematoma. Marv is dead. <laughs> Okay, so here is the number of lives. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They've died seven times together. <laughs> Skull fracture with epidural hematoma. Marv is dead. Skull fracture with epidural hematoma. Marv is dead. 
<laughs> Skull fracture with epidural hematoma. Marv is dead. Penetrating rectal trauma. Penile puncture wound. Wait, Spine and wait, 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 wait. What were those two? Pene penetrating rectal trauma and penile puncture wound. Jesus Christ. Puncture wound. <laughs> Spine and pelvic fractures. <laughs> Multiple fractures and internal injuries. Marv is dead. Concussion with skull fracture and possible epidural hematoma. Harry is dead. Spine and rib fractures. Testicular Ooh. rupture. Anterior full body contusions. Okay, dead. dead. Severe burns and cardiac arrhythmia. Marv is dead. <laughs> of course. I mean, the, I didn't, uh, I didn't watch uh, the second movie yesterday. I only watched the first one. But I mean, they even showed him as a skeleton here, so of course he's dead. Cardiac arrhythmia, Marv injuries. <laughs> Harry and Marv are dead. Wow. Avian bacterial infections, including histoplasmosis. Final report, 9 Harrys and 14 Marvs are required to- 9 Harry and 14, wow, that's 23 deaths, Jesus, by an 8 year old. Complete Home Alone 1 and 2. Nice night for a neck injury! Suck brick, kid! What movie would you like- Wow, <laughs> I was not expecting so many. I mean, you you don't think about this when you're a kid. And this was, and probably still is, uh, my favorite Christmas movie of all time. And watching it as a kid, this was absolutely hilarious. You were nothing about anal, penile, or testicular uh, wounds <laughs> at all. But uh, now, next time I watch Home Alone, I'm gonna look at it uh, with a different perspective for sure. Uh, I think uh, overall they did a pretty good job. The only one where I was a bit like, mm, could it be, it was a punch in the face. I mean, of course, if they get you good, it will be a bone, uh, I think they said like a, a nose fracture. But if they just hit you here, uh, especially not so hard, I mean, it depends, right? Uh, but only that part I was a bit um, curious, but the rest, it seems uh, totally legit. So 23 deaths for the wet bandits or... I think they changed name afterwards, the, the, what was it? I can't remember, I just remember the wet bandits. Anyway, I guess that, that is it for today's video. As usual, if there is anything you'd like me to react to next, please put it down in the comments below and I'll make sure I get to it as soon as you possibly can. But without any further ado, thank you so much for watching, thanks for subscribing, I love you, I wish you a merry, merry Christmas, and I will see you next time, bye.